6, we're looking into a lawsuit targeting a nut shelling company in Vina claiming unfair labor practices. Action News Now reporter Lauren Cooper dug through the details involving Anderson & Sons shelling and spoke with an employee who was recently furloughed. Well, in the beginning, it was great. Um, we didn't have any budgets, which I guess would have, should have been a red flag. A former employee of Anderson & Sons Shelling, Inc. has stepped forward anonymously to talk about being furloughed just weeks after a lawsuit was filed against the company in mid-July. The lawsuit starts with a California almond growing company suing Anderson & Sons Shelling for unfair labor practices. TSB Ag, along with 50 other parties, is accusing the Vina shelling plant of fraud defalcation while acting in a fiduciary capacity, embezzlement or larceny, by failing and refusing to pay a remaining balance of over $3 million as part of a $12.6 million contract agreement from 2022, while continuing to profit off the almonds TSB Ag sold to them. About two weeks after the lawsuit was filed with Sacramento County Superior Court, the former employee says the company furloughed about 75 percent of its crew. I know that they went down to a skeleton crew. The majority were furloughed. Have they ever at any point given you an explanation into why this happened? I never received a formal explanation. Um, they, I have thoughts about that. Um, they expanded too quickly. They had great ideas about expansion and, you know, building new buildings and, and having new equipment, but weren't really able to support that. The lawsuit claims that Anderson and Son Shelling wasn't able to make timely or adequate payments for the 3.6 million pounds of almonds they ordered from TSB Ag. And it claims to this day, the Shelling company still owes over $3 million. Now, the former employee is claiming Anderson and Son Shelling also violated the Warren Act by only giving a one day notice instead of 60 that employees would be let go after their furlough. I reached out to a representative of Anderson and Son Shelling. They said in part that the company temporarily furloughed staff due to the falling prices of nuts, rising interest rates, and other market challenges. I asked if the furlough had anything to do with this pending lawsuit, and she told me she had no idea about this lawsuit, but was going to be getting in contact with the owners to find out more. I'm Lauren Cooper reporting in Vina, Action News Now. Anderson & Son Shelling was still open and operating today. We're working to hear back from the company in the lawsuit.